Well, good morning. I wonder if this is working. Good morning. Come on in. A little bit of a technical glitch this morning. Did you find me? Come on. Let's get started. We've got loads to do, but we'll wait for you all first. Are you there? Come on in. There were gremlins in Facebook this morning, so we've had a little bit of a, a to-do, but my hope is that you can hear me now. Let me just, that's why we come early, so that we can see if it's working. Let me just ask Steve or Jim whether the sound is okay. If you just let me know, guys, that's all I need to know. And then, happy days. Oh, there you are. Good, good morning, Hilda. Always good to see your face. Come on in, ladies, grab a seat. It's quite warm over by the sun. The sun is pouring in through the windows over on this side today. So come on in. And if you're new to the Shack Shack, grab the biscuits are in the corner by the tea. Yeah, you're gonna have a lovely day today. I got up early and I took my, I've got this tray, right? And I, and I took my, my pencils and my two cans into the kitchen to hang out with Ragnar and Eric <laughs> yeah and then I and then I had to try and get them back in the back kitchen where they're safe while I come up here and uh, I couldn't get them in I thought they were running around me playing games they're so playful now and they've got a box and they're in the box and um, and I was trying to get them in and I thought I know so I went in the back kitchen and because that's where I, we feed them and I tell you what I hadn't even got to the food and they were there behind down the bottom purring <laughs> yeah yeah so that's the way to lure them in just pretend you're gonna feed them I did feed them though. I'm not a I'm not a sadist <laughs> they're such a delight they're such a delight let me see if I can find a picture while we're waiting for everybody to arrive let me see if I can find a picture of them in the box. Oh yeah, here we are. <laughs> right, hang on. I've got loads of them. I've never taken so many photographs. Let me see. Ah, oh, right, ready. Are you ready for a really cute? <laughs> Let me get up close. I think I, I can get in close. If I come up, 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 up. Look. <laughs> How about that? Aren't they lovely? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, give them a box. Spend all that money on a lovely antique bed. <laughs> no, I didn't actually, it was already there. Aren't they beautiful? Look, oh, I know. Joyful, they're a joy. First thing in the morning, first thing when you open your eyes, you go, I wonder if the cats are all right. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? I'm very lucky. We're very lucky. I said to Dave when he came upstairs with the first cup of tea, I said, cat's okay. He said, wonderful. That was his word today. Wonderful. Thank you, Steve. Steve Ellen's in the building with you this morning. So please, uh, if you have any questions or you're looking for anything in particular or you need any help, Steve's your man today. Uh, yeah, uh, Stuart's on holiday this week. So Steve and and lovely Lucy are helping me. Lovely Steve as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Everybody's lovely. Okay, right. It must be 10 o'clock. It sure is. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And today we're on the toucan, but we're not on the toucan. You can. We're on the background. And I, I was really, really chuffed this morning because um, I wanted to show you something, right? And see... It's interesting when you look at something, what you see versus what could be, if you see what I mean. That sounds very deep, doesn't it? What you call, it sounds like a lyric to a song. It's interesting what you see as opposed to what could be. I gotta write that down. I'm gonna write that down. I come. Dave, put it to music. We have a symphony. What did I just say? <laughs> um, what you see versus what could be. What you see versus what could be. Cool, that could go both ways, couldn't it? 
Mm -hmm. There you go. So let's have a look what we can see and then consider what could be, okay? So if we look here, right, this is cool. Let me just, let's get in a little closer, baby. Oh, other way, darling. There you go, Gray. Right, everybody all right? Everybody happy? Am I galloping? I'm not, am I? It's only because we had a little bit of a woo wah about five minutes before we went live because clarity, the clarity page died. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, goody. Oh, Jim. <laughs> what would we do with our, our gym? Everyone needs a gym in their life. Right, so, calm it, calm it. Come on, keep calm. Hey, you all right? And breathe and smile. Let's have a lovely hour. You're going to love this. You'll love it. You ain't. So what I thought I'd do, let's have a look. See this flower here, these flowers in the background. I was still, the dew is still out on the pinks. Let me get my better glasses on. Right, I want to show you. So when you look at these flowers here, have you got them in front of you as well? What do you see? What do you see? What colour do you see? Do you see yellow? Do you see red? Do you see a big black centre? Do you see loads of dots? Do you see a bright yellow in the middle? What do you see? I'm not sure. Is it a great big gerbera like with a big black, you know? What do you see? Right, now, this is interesting. Watch. Look. So I, whether it is or not, I don't know, but I saw... Um, if you say, think of a trumpet flower, right, like an aerial view of a trumpet flower. So you're looking right down the barrel in the centre and then it's got layers. So I deliberately, I left this one so that you can see where, um, where, I, where I started. Otherwise, you'd look at the trumpet flower and you think, well, where's, you, where, where do we, where's the trumpet flower here? But have a look. And if you look at the one above, you'll see that's the starting place. See, so once you, but it's interesting, isn't it? How you can make a trumpet flower out of something that flat. It's not what I saw <coughs> at first glance. It's not what I saw at first glance. And then I kept staring at it until I realized that I wanted it to be a trumpet flower. Of course, if you could, you could take this same flower and you could make more petals. So for example, you could make it bright blue like a periwinkle and you could bring this down like that. You can make big bold petals. Do you see what I mean? And you can make it blue as if it were like a lisianthus that were folding in on itself. That'd be lovely as well, wouldn't it? Do you see what I mean? So what you see versus what it could be. And I thought today we'd, we'd see how we can make that turn it into a, a trumpet flower. Can you see it now? Do you see it? It might even need a little bit more depth inside in, in this hole here. But you know what? I'm not finished yet. It's a, it's a moving feast, this little jobby. Look, I even got a new one out because I thought... I'm still working. But then I thought, well, I like that so much. Maybe it doesn't need to be red. Maybe I just need to tone it down. So I kept rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. I'm, I'm taking these ones back. They were bright red before. See? I think that's what I like about these. Um, look at the state of my, look. Ask me which ones we're using. <laughs> oh, crikey, Mikey. Right, that one definitely we need. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, do you know, I've done something to my, I've done something to my, this bit here. I'm left-handed. This one's fine, thank goodness. But this one here, horrible. Right, what have we got here? Uh, pale geranium. I think we'll go with pale geranium. And then I'll have a little bit of... <laughs> In German, it's called crap lack. Hang on, I'll put a German accent to it. Might might be a bit better. Look, Kraplug. That still sounds pretty rough. Madder. 
Crap lack madder, that's about right. <laughs> right, we're going to use crap lack madder, crap for short, and then we've got, um, where are all the pens that I use? Oh, there's another one here. This is a good one. What have we got here? Deep scarlet red. Just get a red and a, and a purple going, people. All right. I threw them all in here because I was running. Just let me make sure I've got... It's easier to find them now, isn't it? Get your... Let's get that May green out again. May Gret. What's this one then? I wish I'd written it down. I am so bad at this. Sugar. Right, that'll do. I know, I know it is definitely in here. Where? <laughs> Should have put an elastic band around it, Grace, shouldn't you? Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Honestly. Rubber's important. Right, you ready? Come on then. Should have a sip of tea first and then figure out what we're doing. Oh, I did use a little bit of yellow as well. Now, I happen to know that it was cadmium yellow. So I used a bit of yellow on there to j just jazz it up a little bit. And I used a grey. Now, which grey was it? Does it matter? It was this one. It was a short one. There you go. Warm grey five. That'll do. Right, so you need... First of all, we need a red. And I'm going to go with... Pale Geranium Lake, okay? And we're going to establish <laughs> the flower. Right, so the first thing we're going to do... Right, you ready for this, my friends? Yeah? Everybody settled in? Oh, these glasses are so strong. Come on, cup of tea first. S smile. So busy at the moment. So busy at the moment. That half price sale last week took us by surprise. Yeah, it did. I spoke to my brother this morning just to make sure he's all right and he hasn't left the building because he's the one that makes all the groovy plates. And I said, Steve, how's it going, Steve? You know, just checking. And he said, well, you know, you know that tunnel and you can see a light at the end of it? I said, yes. He said, well, I haven't even found the tunnel yet. <laughs> oh, good. So if you have ordered, and you ordered from the sale, please be patient. We're trying our hardest. We're going as fast as we can. So um, just be patient with us. Bear with us. Uh, now, let's have a look at this flower then, shall we? And let's see what we can do. So... It's, there's one, two, three, I can see four. I can see four in my picture. How about you? Got a bit of a, still got the albino, still got the white one there, but it doesn't matter because all I'm interested in is showing you how to make these. Right, I need to lean on something so I don't lean on them. Okay, little bit of scrap. <laughs> That'll do, just so that we can get our color in. Right, okie dokie, what are we going with? I'm going with uh, Pale Geranium Lake, that'll do me. I think that was the one I used, it looks right. Pale Geranium Lake, just needs a, a light colour. I wonder if, what's this one then? Let me just check something, can I? I mean, reds and reds. That's a bit darker. I think I'll go with the Pale Geranium Lake. Yeah, right, flat, flat. Nice, flat, gentle, and then what we'll do is, right, let's get a real light, real light. Here we go. Round we go. This is quite a good little exercise in stretching and getting really light. See, so you're going to go up. Let's just do this layer here. There you go, you'll get your eye in in a minute. Let's just colour this flower in, shall we? Right, really lightly. Lightly does it. Yeah, let's colour this one in. Let's get all these ones done. And then we'll see how we can, see what we see and what we can make out of it, yeah? Because when these flowers got drawn, Lisa did these. 
you'll see. Let's have a look. Let's just add a little bit of red through there. Right. See, because I was looking at them at first and I thought, yeah, okay. This is my thought process. I thought, right, well, we'll make them a, a nice yellowy, reddy colour. Bit of brightness behind the birdies. All right. Like so. So we've got one there, one there, and one there. And there's another one back here, look. So at first, I was just looking at this bit here. That's his leg. And don't worry, we're going to do the old bark today. We're going to do that moss, that mossy trunk as well. I thought that would be nice to do. But let's get started on the flower first. Now, when you look at the flower, let's, let's go to the very top. No, let's go to this one. Right, and what you'll see is the line art. Let me just smooth it out a little bit while we're working. If you look at it, right, the line art, I'm just blending the colour a little bit. I went a little bit heavy there. I might have to just take that back a little bit. I got a bit, a bit heavy handed before I got my eye in, if you know what I mean. Just smooth it out a little bit. Right. So you can always, if you feel you put too much down, now's the time to just lift it off again. Right, that'll do. Okay. So what we're going to do is take the same pencil, but you see, the way I saw it was, you've got to imagine, you've got to imagine that there are, there are waves like fritilli, frillillillu, right? Look, see, and I can keep going in and I can add more and more depth to this, but it's this wave here. So it's like you've got to decide where's the, where's the, keep looking at it. And then you'll see, like, and it's not always the same. So here, for example, in my head, this is going to be a dip. This is going to be a dip here, like that, right? And then I'll go round again, and I think this is going to be a highlight. So, I mean, it changes. It's Again, it changes every time. I'm going to put a little dip in there and make a line. It looks a bit stripy when you first do this. You think... This looks too weird for words, right? So, for example, now, as you go round, this is going to be here, right? Let's go there, and let's make a dip here as well. So there's a dip there. See? So you, you're joining up the top line and the bottom line. So we just make just really lightly. We can always take it out again. I'm not explaining this very well. I did it much better on my own with the cats this morning. Scrap this and start again, right? I'm going to go again. Do you see what I'm talking about? Right, so you've got peaks and troughs as you go around. And the peak on this one has got to go to the peak on that one. So up it goes like that. Let's make some serious lines here so that you can actually see. And then if there's a dip here, let's go down there. Right, so now we've got a dark bit in there, right? And then we've got, a, we've got, so we're getting a fold now. So here, you can see it's going to go darker in here, right? And then there's going to be a fold there. So as you come round, I reckon that there'll be another, it'd be darker on that side, right? And then there's another peak there, like so. And then there's another line there. So what you're doing is you're making pleats. It's almost like you're making pleats. And if it goes up here and it goes up there, then join those two together like that. That's it. That will just make a line there. Right. Oh, the window cleaner nearly gave me a cardiac. His timing is impeccable. Right. So now this bit here, see, that's going to be a dip. So that's a dip like so there. So you see how you're moving it round? Now this one, for example, here, we've got a line coming there, then we've got a line there. Right. So let me just show you. Right. So now this, for example, is going to be darker on that side. Once you get the lines in, you get it. 
it's it, it, it's like this it's it's like that it, it it's got a frill it's like a frill we're making a frilly flower but you've got to kind of make the connection between the outer line and the inner line so let's have another look at that so as you come round here you'll see that goes to that, that goes to that, that goes to that, that goes out there. Right, so we've got our frills. Let's have another, let's do it again. Let's go again. Don't worry about it, the fact that it looks like a candy rather than a flower. Now start again around here and then just look, maybe do the biggest area first because that will give you the best. Right, so this is going to come around like that and then that's going to join up to that one and then this one will, let's have a look, that dip will come in there like that that's good right so then there's going to be another one there right another frill I'm going to make a frill these frills are easy because they've got nowhere to go so you don't have to join them up look there's another frill there's another frill like that right and then these ones so that dip there goes to there to there to there to there right so you just nice Easy enough. Let me just come up close so that you can see it better. Let's just see. Let it focus for a moment. Right, I know it looks really, really ropey, right? But it's just about getting the frills. Now bring that down. See? Already look at the two stages. It's because we're looking at the big white area in the middle, it's deceiving. You can't think of it as a trumpet, can you? Be all right though, let's do the outside first and then the inside, ready? Right. <laughs> Window cleaner. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, I'm not gonna worry about the inside. I want you to sort of get a feel for the outside first. So, right, do you remember, we've done this before. It's when you do like a little moon, you go like this, look, like that. Right, so what we're going to do now is get a good flat edge and then you can do this, right, and then down we go like that. So what we're going to do now is, is start sh putting the shadow in, the shading. So you've got to think of it like this. Let's, if you get it started, it'd be fine. If this is coming up, right, then this is going to be darker here, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this, that little swinging up like that so you swing it see so you swing that way away from this that edge there that's definitely a see it goes from that tip to that tip I'm doing it really dark so you can see it better and then that there is like a long see this bit here you can make it whiter if you like to make it more see and then this, this in between these ones, it's not a proper pleat, it's just a dip. So then we'll go like that. You see that all right? Once you figure out how this works, it's a real delight. Right, so now this one, have a look, step away from it and have a look and then decide where are you gonna go with the pleat now? So this, this one here, it's got another look. You can make your own look. Make another line there if you feel like it. You can make another pleat. It's your drawing. You decide, right? So I'm going to make another one there just because I can, and then I'm going to do that little that moon idea, little crescent moon like that, right? So and then a little crescent moon there. And what you're doing is you're breaking up the line. But you see how already it's starting to work. So this is going like that. Right, so this one comes round here and then there's a dip here. So that line's there. This is a great exercise in shading really. That's all, look. But it's very forgiving. In a minute, you'll see when we start putting in our, when we use our blending tools and blend the colors in, it starts to really come together. So now this one, let's come this side. This is a, can you see this all right? Am I, that's it, that one's in there. 
that one I think let's have a look that one's coming up that way yeah that'd be all right this is probably supposed to be a lighter if you see what I mean let's get rid of it there in the middle see it's all right you can, there's no it's not terminal if you if you look at it and think well I think I've done that wrong it's, if you want to get it just change it just look let's do this then let's let's put a little bit more of a depth in that side like that there you go and now straight away it looks like it's gone up and down again see so you're going to put that side up that way that side in that way leave a little bit of white up the top there you go this is quite a large one here but that'll be okay see so it's dark and then it gets lighter as it gets to the top okay cool because the light's hitting it from this side you see so we've got a bit of dip just work your way around so this one move your art round so this is a little dip here I'm just gonna swing back and forth along there this is quite dark in there though behind the bird there you are that'd be good right so that's that line that's going to be that line all good I know it looks a bit candy flossy until you look till you add the center it's the center that then gives the whole thing depth but let's get the outside done first because it's a real good it's a real good lesson in in shading this one so let's have a look at this it's it's about seeing what's what's not there and and creating an illusion of see so for example this is going to be darker so we'll get in there and make that darker but this one I think this is a this is the dip if we're looking at peaks and troughs this is the dip isn't it hey so we go up like that there you go see and then that becomes our hang on a minute there's somebody at the door just a second we're recording I wasn't sure because I thought it was a Wednesday a different day no worries I'll leave it in with okay bye right nice clean windows though okay right so are you still there good cool it's real isn't it when the window cleaner knocks <laughs> okay so round we go and then we'll just come in there like that There we go. Right, so now we're going to get a really nice flash of colour through there. There we are. Okay. Good. So it looks like candy, but it will be, be fine. Just leave it like that for the minute. Right, it's just all about the layers, isn't it? And then we're going to, let's leave that one for a minute. And now let's do the next, the next layer. So this time we need the same pencil. We're working with the same pencil the whole time. But now we're going to bring in the next, the next, the trumpet. So this one, for example, if you can imagine, this has got to be joined up. So let's see if we join up the, the actual, let's have a look. If we join this up to there. Let's just join these lines up so we can see that joins up to there say we can always add more just got to kind of go with the with the direction of the the little piece in this inside look see that comes like that and then this one goes like that so now we can make our own in here look it really is easy the inside one is easy so this one's going to come in like that this one's coming in like that there we are this one's coming around like that 
Right. Okay. You see that, okay? So you've got your, your pigs and your troughs. That's what you've got. Once you've decided that, I'm, so, I'm wondering if I can come in a little bit closer even. Oh, hello. What was that? An electric shock. Cool. Can you still hear me all right? Yeah. Okay. So now let's go in here and let's add some, some depth. So this time though, really it's all about the center, isn't it? Try and stay out the middle bit with your, with your red. Just, just deal with the middle bit at the end, right? So what we're doing now is you see, oh, Barbara, hello. Right, there you go. Let's just trim that. I've got the longest eraser. It's got, that's better. Right, so what we're going to do now is just decide which side is the shadow. Right, there we go. That's the shadow for me on that side. Just look at it for a minute, Gray, and decide. Right. Okay. This would be good. There's a shadow there. Shadow there. Shadow there. Shadow. There you go. I reckon. Right, and then we'll do our little... So some are going to be like the top of a frill. Make sure you get the... There we are. You can see this now, can't you? So, so if this comes round like that, you just deal with each pleat as one at a time. We'll get our little... Get our little swing going, swing, and then we're going to swing through here. There we go, swing, and then we'll swing through there. Where do I want to swing on this one? So you, if that's the top bit, it's going to swing up there a little bit, just on that side. There you go. So you're just making, look, this is lovely. That one's particularly good grey. Right, so you come down and you see how you get this feeling of, so this one here is going to be like that, yeah, tell you what, it focuses the mind, there's no doubt about that, because you're looking very carefully now at your, aren't you, at wh where's the Where's the pleat? Where's the frill on this? Eh? So once we've done that, I think now we've got a... Do you think this is difficult? I think one of the things that you've got to know with this is that it's not over till it's over. It's just not finished. When you, when you start it, you think, what is this all about? This is never going to work. But then as you start to build up your colour, You'll see, because at the moment, what we've got to do is we've got to create the layers. Right, enter the blending pen. Let's get the blending pen going. And let's just smooth out the colour. So we're going to smooth out the colour on the... There we go. Smooth out the colour on the shadow bit, where we've got the shadow. And you can see now, you're just stroking the area, really. There you go, in. So you just go in the same direction as the pencil, really. So we're coming down on this one. It's going to start coming together in a minute. Have a bit of faith, okay? Got to keep the faith, haven't we? Here we go. Right. So, it's, it's already coming together, right? And we've got the shadow in with our blending pen. That worked well. Okay. All right, so this is all about this one flower here. So we're going to go with the same colour again, just because, right? And this time, what we're going to do is from the centre, leave that yellow. There's going to be... Leave it where it is for the moment. And then just take your pencil and just flick, flick, flick from the centre. Let's get a bit of depth going. 
from the middle. So you just light feathery strokes all the way around now. That's it. And worry about the black fella. Hang on. Just. That's it. Okay. That's it. Light feathery strokes like that. So we're getting some depth on that centre, you see, but you want a bit of light here as well because you want it to look like it's not the the thing is you could do two one of two things with this flower you see it's not what you see it's interesting but it's what could be so i've done it in such a way that it's a trumpet if you like and it go you can imagine it's going in isn't it so it's do you see what i mean depends so so to make it go in it's got to be dark around here look if i make that darker then straight straight away it's, it, it, you're dragging your eye in then, you're pulling the eye into the centre, right? So, so that's the first thing. It's this, this area here, okay? Then the next thing we want to do is highlight the area around here. So again, I'm going to use the lightest colour. I'm using the same colour the whole time. So now to make this layer, right, don't worry, we'll change the colour in a minute. But to change that, the depth, we're going to create a little bit of shadow now with the lightest pencil here. So just tuck in around here and a little circular, you watch, let's just do a little bit of it and then let's step away and have a look, see if it's working. There, you see, straight away, it's dead easy really. So you've got your, your peaks and troughs, you've got your frill, we're doing that. And then because you're going in with a darker colour, right, keep going. Make sure you've got flat. Yeah, that's it. Just light through there. So you're going to separate out the two layers there. Look. Easy. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a good lesson, this one, actually, I think. It's a good, it's a good learning curve, isn't it? There you go. Get a good. So once we've done that, it's just, just a process really. And you know, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just keep going until it looks right. Yeah. I think that's the key, isn't it? All right, there you go. Let's have a look. This one looks a little bit weird. So if that's that, that needs to be a bit shaded in there then. That looks better. See, it looks like a proper pleat there because I've just brought that right down like that. There you go. See how you can really, you can, you can control the frills. Look at that. See? It's totally up to you how, how dark Look, if I come in now, see now you've got your your basics in, you've got your basic line in. Yeah, interesting, isn't it, how you can change it? How are we doing for time? All good. Right, stretch, stretch, cup of tea. My tea always goes cold, doesn't yours? Don't spill tea on it. All good. You get a real sense of achievement when it suddenly goes, when the optical illusion pops out at you. It's really cool. Good, good, good. Right, you ready? Oh, stretch, come on. You still enjoying the shake shake? I'm enjoying it more now. Now it's every other day. I find, I feel the benefits of it more now because the whole purpose of it to calm us down and um, and get our eye focused you know and get creative and not race I think that's the thing isn't it just like I was talking on Monday about checking out as in step away from the plate for a minute look at what we're doing why am I feeling the way I'm feeling deal with it 
and then check back in again you know and I find especially on on days like you know this week is very busy you know and very I could really easily start flapping and I don't want to flap I don't like the way it feels and so I just stop check nice carry on works for me so yeah see look it's already coming together really nicely if you stop for two minutes and then check out what you've done right so now we've gone from to the we've done all that with the geranium let's stop there for a minute and let's take like before we lose the middle just put a bit of yellow in the middle not loads don't have to press too hard just put a bit of yellow in the middle that'll do and we're not going to lose it all right now let's take it down to another layer of red. We need a darker red. If you've only got one red, then um, stick with the red you've got. Just the layers, you get, you'll get you get the depth from the layers. Now what one am I going with? That's a deep scarlet. Let me try, this one's nice and dark. What have we got here? Uh, Oh, that's that crap lack. <laughs> right, let's try the let's try the matter. <laughs> I'll give you the number, shall I? <laughs> One four two. <laughs> there you go. Eins vier zwei. Any one of these will do. Look, you just need a nice contrasting, like a a purplier one. That's quite nice too. What's this one? Oh, well, there you go, middle purple, uh, one, two, five. Any one of these, a fuchsia, something a bit pinker, uh, something a bit, is pinker a word? A bit more pink. Right. And what we'll do now is we'll add a little bit of depth. So sharper, a bit sharper. And now we'll come in and we'll add a bit of, there you go around there like that and then start f flicking out over the top of the other one you see this all right right there you go add a bit of that depth in there as well and in there just a little bit not too much you can always add it can't you there you go you see how you start to add a bit of where you want it to be darker just add a little flash of depth yeah, look. I find also, see how it's changing it? I find what helps a lot for me is to stop. Sounds very philosophical, this stop. It's that check out, check up, and then check back in again. It's like you stop, look at it, look at what you're looking at, like actually observe it. And then go in and go, right, I want to add a little bit of depth around there now. Look, see? Rather than just blindly going along with it. There you go. See? So, I want to stop and look. Yeah, absolutely. See, and if I've got a really sharp, darker one, we could do it in a minute. In the end, we'll go all the way around and we'll add little flicks. You'll see it really adds depth. Right, as you come round, okay, what do I want? Do I want a bit more depth in there? Yeah, do you see how that's giving that more of a... That's it. All good. Right, see the difference between that side and that side? Let's come round here and let's do a bit more round this side now. I think we need a bit of depth in this corner here. This doesn't look quite dramatic enough does it let's get a bit of red in there there you go then you flick it round to the tight the the sharper side you see and you can so sharp that. that's it nice just let's make a little bit more of a shadow in here Right, round here with the darker one. Yeah. Don't want to make it too dark. You can you can get depth without going dark. You know? You really can. There. This is gonna look lovely. 
So we're just coming in on that, on that lower, see? I know people think, what an hour for a flower? Are you kidding me? And I think, yeah, well, thing is, you look at where you started out and where you end up, you think, yeah, well, work of art, really. There you go, look, not looking good. See? What do you think? Mm. So how's that yellow? Well, guess. So what we're going to do is take our blending pen and now, rather than smear the whole colour, let's just, just blend the colours in lightly. See, it softens it. It just softens it, doesn't it? It sure does. But I don't want to cover all the white up, because in a minute I'm going to add an injection of yellow into that. I'm going to warm this right up. See? And the yellow won't... You don't want the yellow on the um, red. It, it will just go orange. So we're going to leave a little bit of white there, you see? It's all fun. It's all games. It's only a bit of, you know, it's only a bit of card. It's nothing. It's, it's, it's the process. This is what it is. It's the process. Do you know, I remember when, um, when I first started doing pottery, I, the first thing I did, I, I went on a, a throw down, throw down, right? And, um, Suzanne was my teacher, is Spanish. She's brilliant. She works with us now at Clarity. She, um, yeah, she does. She's great. Right, anyway, so, but she's, she's also a fabulous teacher, pottery teacher. And after the throwdown, okay, I'd, I'd thrown six, I'd thrown six little pots, and they were, I mean, pequeña, right, tiny little things. Little, uh, the first year, all I did was throw olive bowls. We, yeah, how many olive bowls can one household have? Everybody was getting olive bowls, right? Tiny little things. And I, I couldn't get beyond the olive bowl to the cereal bowl. I just, you know, it, and then now I'm on flower pots. Woohoo! Right? However, so we made these six little bowls. And then at the end of the lesson, um, Susanna said, and now are we cut right? And I went, we what? And she said, and now we cut. I said, what, what do you mean? I've just spent four hours making these little poles and I'm really proud of them. And she went, yes, and now we cut. And what she meant was she gave you a wire and you had to cut through to see if your walls were the right thickness. And I said, you must be joking. <laughs> That's not happening. I've just spent the whole morning making those, and I really like them, and I don't care how thick the walls are, right? I just want, I was just happy with my little bowls. And she backed off very quickly, because um, obviously my face changed. <laughs> I went, are you serious? Anyway, so she backed off, and she said, it's fine, you don't have to cut your bowls up, just leave them as they are. But she did say, as a parting shot at the time, she said, the only way to learn how to throw good pots is to cut. And she said, until you start to cut, you won't progress, right? And I thought, whatever. <laughs> I was like, that. I don't want to cut my bowls in half, right? Two years on, I understand exactly what she means. I did figure it out quite quickly. If you want to progress, then you have to, you have to give time to the process. That's what I'm saying. And I think that goes to anything. You have to accept that you, in order to grow and get better, you have, to, you have to kind of go through processes. Do you see what I mean? You have to have spares. You have to practice. You have to figure out because if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. And the reason that I couldn't get beyond olive bowls was because I wasn't, I wasn't, I was so hell bent on getting a product at the end of it. I just wanted the bowl, you know, that I, I wasn't, I wasn't in the process. I was already at the end result. And 
and until you you get into the process like with coloring until you really immerse yourself in it which is wonderful for the head right um, that's when you start to really feel the benefits and and that's and it's the same with the with the with the pottery for me it's that it is it's that it's that growing, you know, and it's that learning curve. And you have to sort of, you know, you've got to get your flight hours in, you know. And I see on your, on Facebook, I see your work and I see it improving. And it is because you're immersing yourself in it. It's like you're cutting your pots. You're doing the, you're doing the work and you're, you're going, mm, what could I do to improve it? What did I what did I not pick up on? What what could I, you know, is it too stripy? What does that mean? Does it mean that I press too hard? Does it mean what does it mean? Why why is it so stripy? What have I done to create such stripes? What could I do to change that? You know? And I don't mean to be patronizing at all. That's never gonna be my that's never I've never have been and I never would want to be. Um but you, you see, if you, if you get with the process and you, you look at it and you think, all right, what can I do? What can I do to make it better? And sometimes you just got to dissect it, like cut your pot, go again, go right, start again. What did I do? photocopy it 10 times you know buy another set of postcards just cut your teeth on it until you go yes got it the only reason i'm doing this one is because i've already done that one you see that's the thing so what i need to do now is i'm going to take my yellow i'm going to take my yellow now and where the white is i'm not going to go like that right but where the white is i'm going to add a flash of yellow look now watch See, so I'm going through and I'm just adding the yellow where the white is and it will tone it. Look how it takes it straight back. Here we go. See, so suddenly it doesn't look quite stripy anymore because you've toned the colours. You've brought the colours closer together really, haven't you? White to red's pretty football shirty. Uh -huh. And now we're toning them in, look. Cool, eh? And then, as if that wasn't toned in enough, then you take your, your blending pen and you bring it in a bit further. So you, again, you, you're breaking down that yellow and you're joining, it's like the bridge, isn't it? But do I know what I'm talking about? Do I? I don't know. I don't know. Kept you company for an hour, though. <laughs> Right, see, now the only thing that's missing now, look, it looks, still looks a little bit bland by comparison. Now, what is it that I've done that makes it look different? Well, first of all, I think we need a little bit of black and a little bit of gray to create a little bit more depth. And um, that darker pen, right, let me show you a trick. If I, this is the finishing tricks now. Once you've done this, you can't keep blending. Let's get a real sharp point real sharp now on like that's as sharp as you can get really on the darker red right or the burgundy or whatever color you've got and what we're going to do now is we're going to make lines right like real tough not many you don't need many but you're gonna you're gonna make some lines like if that's that's the this is the this is the one, the, the top of the pleat. See that bit there? Look, that's got to go along there like that. And this creates that, the sharp pleat. See, here. Just bring it down, just flick it down. See? So it's actually creating a f like a proper... There you go. Don't need loads, just a few. And perhaps coming out from the bottom like this. Oh, too sharp. Let's just make a couple of, oh, I need to lean on this. 
There you go, look, just a couple of little flicks. How are we doing for time? All good. I think so, or has my watch stopped? No, 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 we're good for time, good for time, good for time. See, and I know we only did a, we only did a flower, but I tell you what, it's a good flower. Lots of learning going on here, I know. Oh, that's a bit strange. Now, so we've done that. Black. Right, you ready? A little bit of dotting. Just go slowly. You, you'd struggle to get rid of this again. That'll do. And then round the outside. Let's get that grey going. Right, round the outside. Gently, gently, gently. See, and what we're doing now is we're creating the depth. Like the, ch the trumpet. In it goes. So what we're doing now is I'm going to mix now between the colours. I'm going to go a bit of yellow, a bit of red, a bit of... Just get that depth in as if you were looking down into that hole. Does that make sense? Right. I reckon. There you go. And the darker it is around that there, the deeper the hole will get. There. And if you feel you're overcooking it, you can always take a rubber, take your eraser, and pull it straight back again. Just like I did with the, look, with these. They were bright red yesterday and then I didn't like them. See? And this is brighter, this is darker than this one, only because I've been over-egging it because I've been trying to show you tricks as we've been going along and pleats, you see. But everyone is different. That's the other thing is that everyone will be different, look. Everyone's got different pleats, everybody, you look in a different place. Now let me see if I can put a pleat, let's pretend, see there's a little pleat there. Let's see if I can just add one if I want to. Yeah. So if I wanted to add a pleat there, I reckon that that would be the lighter side on there. So we'll get rid of the colour on that side there. And then we'll bring that in like that. Now let's see, where's my yellow gone? Bit of yellow in there on that edge. And then a little bit. So you just reintroduce. And there you go, I've got a pleat now. There's the pleat. Sorry, I think I was out of shot then. So, you know how to do these flowers now. So you've got that flower, you can finish that one. You've got a couple of days now. Wonderful. So what we've got to finish now, we'll call it a day for today, hey? If you get a chance, look, you've got how many times? You've got one, two, you've got three more opportunities to have a go at this. So so maybe you could, you could put your trumpet flowers in and then on, um, call on Friday, Let's have a look. Well, how do you feel about the 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 hibiscus? Because we've got to do we've got to do a little bit of greenery up there. We've got to do the hibiscus. But well, I already wanted to have a go at this as well. This one here. So on Friday when we get together, right, we're gonna do one flower really quickly. Right, be an easy one. Easy. Right, easy. And then we'll do the the branch, because I think that's worth knowing, Ria. So we'll do the branch. And then really, yeah, I'll have a look at these. I'll have a look at these. And then um, that can be the weekend's homework. I'll, I'll give you the clue. Even if we don't get to it, I'll show you out. I'll show you quickly how to do it. But uh, the focus on Friday, I think we should stick to the hibiscus at the front and the magnum moss, this bit because that's pretty cool, isn't it, hey? But I, I'm really pleased that we, we did these trumpet flowers. I think that's worth knowing how to do that. And you can see that all I, all I, the only thing that I need to do on this one is bring the depth out a bit further so that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't look too much like a stripe around the flower. All it needs is a little bit more. It needs to come out a bit more, that's all.
and you can do that with a blending pen look I could just pull it out with a blending pen just to bridge that gap and straight away my, my, that's it look stripe B be, be gone there you are cool nice so that's <clears throat> that's brought us to the end of that lovely session I hope you enjoyed that um, if you if you haven't got the postcards it's something that you should consider because they are art postcards you know they are they are artists postcards and like that flower shows you just uh, I find it fascinating that there's such simple fine line art but when you actually stop and look at it there's so much more there than what the what what you think you're looking at you know so I hope you enjoyed that I did uh, Steve Ellen thank you so much for your help and um, I'll see you oh hang on a minute slow down there's something I need to tell you on Friday I've got TV shows so oh yeah I must remember this I hope you haven't left right TV shows I've got a mixed media show on Hochanda at nine o'clock in the morning on Friday right this is important I'm glad I remembered so at nine o'clock in the morning I'll be on live television until ten o'clock I cannot flick it that quickly so because I'm on at nine o'clock and one o'clock so please can we meet you get a lion you get a lion on Friday please can we meet at 10 30 I just need half an hour just to plug different things in um, so that's what we'll do I'm on telly at nine o'clock until 10 o'clock so I can't be here at 10 o'clock but we'll hang out at 10 30 I'll see you at 10 30 on Friday lots of love be safe. Bye-bye now.